Good afternoon, YouTube. Matt with ASL Dumpsters. And I want to make a video today about the marketing side of um, some of the apps and services you can get into um, if you're any contractor. Uh, I myself, obviously, I'm a dumpster rental um, service. So, you know, the dynamics of my, my business are might, might differ a little bit from yours, whether you know, you're a deck builder, um, basement finish, um, what have you. But today's video is gonna be a little bit about Angie's List slash Home Advisor. Um, a while back, Angie's List bought Home Advisor. And um, if you have any experience with this service um, and have talked to anybody that has experience with the service, you have probably heard the, I would say, unproven conspiracy theory slash pretty obvious um, fact that there are bogus generated leads that they will charge you for, um, that you will pay for. Um, it's part of your contract. If they send you a lead, you automatically pay for it, whether it can be proven that it's a real person or it's somebody that got paid by them to produce a lead um, and they have no intention of using you or your service. Um, so. I'm just gonna do a little quick video here and talk about my experience with that and how I've learned to uh, filter those and do my best to avoid the pitfalls of that because I do still use Angie's service, Angie's list, um, slash home advisor for slow weeks or if I have a week that my schedule is not filled out yet, um, I will pursue some of those leads to help uh, bolster my schedule and get my equipment rented out full time. So. Uh, first off, when you sign up with Angie's List, you will be contacted, I would even say hounded, by a customer service rep, sales rep, whatever you want to call them. Um, to sign up, you'll be hounded all the time, whether it's once a month, once a week. Um, I was hounded pretty much every week for three months until I finally got my business to a point where I felt like I needed it. Um, but I didn't really have um, any other contractors out there that I could talk to and kind of bounce ideas off them and get their get their opinion on using this service. So I went into it. I paid my one-time um, yearly membership fee. Um, and I've been using it now for at least two months, if not three, probably three months now. And... I quickly learned that um, a lot of the leads that were matched to me, you know, they come up on your phone through the app, uh, you get an email, you get a text um, with the information that either this person or an algorithm or whoever filled out um, saying, I'm interested in a dumpster rental service. Um, they may or may not put a date associated with it that they want the service. They may or may not put the contents that they want to put in your dumpster. Um, and the way I've, the characteristics of the bad leads that I've learned to avoid are misspelling of names. Um, you know, if your contact name is, say, Steve, and it's lowercase s, capital T, lowercase e, capital V, double E after that, I'm sorry, but if I'm typing my own name into a into an internet website or something like that or, or anywhere me as a person at least myself I would not misspell my name that bad um, now some people get in a hurry they don't always capitalize you know they don't always set but that's to me that's always the first uh, indicator that this lead is either bogus or they're not serious um, a lot of people put feelers out there which is fine. Um, you know, people want to get prices and kind of take the temperature and then make a decision later. It happens all the time. Um, but for bogus leads, uh, look out for misspelling of names. Um, look out for lack of information as far as what what they want to get rid of. Because um, a lot of times in the description, uh, customers that I've had success with through Angie's List will say, um, garage and yard clean out, um, you know, dead trees, um, boxes, clothes, stuff like that. They'll be, they'll at least give you somewhat of a description of what you'll be hauling. Um, the bogus leads will say 
almost nothing and if they do say something it'll say something like very generic um, house clean out or moving need cleaning uh, stuff like that just stuff that if you read it and, and, and I get you know that you have customers you may have uh, people filling out an Angie's list requests that um, may not be able to uh, type or, or you know speak English very well which is fine um, but just be on the lookout for that for the description of what you're going to be hauling um, there's always I, and I don't believe, because I've never done one myself, but I don't think you can send a, an Angie's List request to contractors without putting your physical address, the address of the job, on there. So, um, you know, double check that. Um, that's probably one of my biggest uh, determining factors of whether I uh, attempt to contact an Angie's List lead or not is how far away is it. I myself operate out of, um, we're about 45 minutes southeast of Denver. Um, so if they're on 45 minutes northwest of Denver, say in Boulder, um, I'm not gonna pursue that lead. Uh, the fuel costs, wear and tear on the vehicle and the trailer, it, it's not worth it, um, plus time. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And um, one other little characteristic too, is the date. Um, I've had my successful Angie lead, Angie's lead um, success stories that I've had with customers usually give dates. Um, now, those are not hard dates. They're usually a guideline that the customer puts in there. You know, I want it September 1st through September 3rd um, or somewhere in that date range, uh, somewhere around there. So, that's a really helpful tool if it's a good lead to be able to check your schedule and make sure um, that you have the equipment available to service that person. Sorry, we're going over a terrible road right here. Um, but uh, yeah, so the way the Angie's lead works, I'm gonna back up a little bit. The way Angie's leads works um, is there's there's basically two kinds of, of um, contacts that you can get through them. There's opportunities and there's leads. So leads are your straight up, this lead is sent to your phone and bam, you pay for it right then and there. Um, the cost for these can vary. Um, my typical cost I would say is 20 to $25 per lead. Um, and that adds up. If you, um, the way Angie's Lead works geographically is you pick your service areas based on zip code and if that person pops up in that zip code that you service and they want what, you know, and they're looking for your type of service, it matches up with you through the algorithm, Angie's List algorithm, uh, matches you, sends it to your phone and charges you right then and there. Um, so you're already losing money. Whether or not that customer comes through, now if that customer comes through, it's worth it. Um, but what I've found is that the leads that are automatically sent to your phone the algorithm it, it doesn't it, it's not a person it can't look through these leads and determine uh, look you know that might seem a little fishy it might be um, okay they got a name a date an address uh, and they want a dumpster and that's it okay send you the lead and bam you're charged um, so those are leads through Angie's list the other type the second type is opportunities so in the app, you have a couple different pages you can toggle through either on your phone or on the desktop, you have several options. You can go through. Um, but the opportunities are um, cust potential customers that you have not been matched up with, but are in or around your area looking for your service. And for whatever reason, the, the algorithm didn't match you up, so you haven't paid for it yet. But what that does is give you an opportunity to review the information that the customer, potential customers filled out. And then you can determine from what you're reading and seeing in the app and on that lead information, if it looks to be legit. Um, so my suggestion to you guys out there, if contractors, dumpster rental guys using this service, um, you know, I would keep your leads, in my opinion, I would keep your leads turned off because if your leads are turned on, you are arbitrarily sent 
um, leads and charge for them, it could be one o'clock in the morning, it could be one o'clock in the afternoon, 10 o'clock at night, um, 4 a.m. I've gotten leads literally at anywhere from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. while I'm asleep. Um, so, and you're getting charged for those. So what I do is I keep my leads because you can toggle the lead um, system on and off. So I keep mine turned off, but the opportunities that are in the app that are still potential customers, you can view all day long all you want. Um, and those opportunities are, you do get notified when they come up. So every time I get a, an opportunity notification, I review that information if it seems legit and I, and I need, you know, I'm looking for, I'm actively looking for customers, um, I will go ahead and say, you can do two options. You can say, yes, I'm interested or no, I'm not. Um, so if it seems legitimate, I will click yes, I am interested. Um, and then once what happens next is that uh, interest um, goes, that ping goes to the customer and the customer then decides whether they wanna connect with you or not. Now I have, and from what I've seen, I have the highest rated dumpster rental business on Angie's List in my area. I'm not saying Denver as a whole. Uh, there's if, there's tons of dumpster, dumpster rental companies, much, much larger than me. But as far as the small market, short term dumpster rental companies out there, I have um, all five star reviews. I think I'm up to 15 reviews now that customers, they can see that and they can review that information and base their decision off that. So I've worked pretty hard to keep my, my review at a five star and um, give those customers confidence in me to hire me. So um, what happens is that customer says, hey, this contractor, ASL Dumpsters, is interested in, in your, servicing you. Do you want to connect? When they say yes, then, then it becomes a lead. That opportunity, once they, they say okay, then that opportunity becomes a lead um, and you are charged for them. But at that point, you get their information, you get their phone number, email, address, um, all that information. And at that point, you contact them immediately. Um, and I say you contact them immediately because they could have one, two, three, four, five other customer or uh, contractors reaching out to them doing the same thing. So if you're the first one, um, to be able to answer their questions, uh, make them feel comfortable with you over the phone, um, let them know if you have different equipment. Like with me, I explained the differences between dump trailers and roll offs. Um, you know, so definitely if you are in the market looking to expand your business and use Angie's List slash Home Advisor as one of those tools to expand your list or uh, your business, um, keep that in mind. That would be my suggestion is do not leave your leads on all the time. And I've talked to other contractors, whether it's, uh, uh, I've talked to a deck builder, um, landscapers, um, basement finish contractors, um, and honestly, most of them have all canceled their contracts with Angie's Leads. They were getting too many leads, um, spending too much money and not getting enough in return. So um, for now, I'm sticking with mine because I believe my system that I've come up with and the way that I review the opportunities and turn them into leads um, has really helped me filter out all the bad leads, or if not, most of them. So um, leave a comment below, guys, if you guys have had the same experience. Um, I really appreciate you watching. Um, subscribe to the channel. We'll keep some more dumpster rental um, content coming. We'll have some um, tow vehicle reviews, uh, trailer reviews. Um, subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell. Appreciate you guys. Have a good Labor Day weekend. We'll see you next time.